In the beginning of chapter 5 of the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul says something very strong, something very direct. He says in verse 1, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Now, all through the book of Galatians, this yoke of bondage has to do with the law. It has to do with being caught up in legalism and going back to Judaism, to circumcision, to the temple feasts and festivals. And so he's saying, don't get entangled in all of that, all the rules and the regulations of Judaism, but stand fast, and he calls it, in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. Now, a lot of people misinterpret this and think, well, I'm free in Christ so I can do anything I want to do because I'm no longer under the judgment of the law. But later he'll go on and explain what it means to live in freedom and to live by faith. And he says to walk in the spirit and you'll not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So being free doesn't mean you can fulfill the lusts of your flesh. It means you're free from the law, not from that which is evil. You know, there's a story told about when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation of Proclamation and allowed all the slaves to go free. There was a lot of confusion about that whole sense of freedom. So the story that's told is this one slave, this lady went to her friends and they said, no, we're all free. We no longer have to serve our old masters. We're, we're free from slavery. And she would go back to her old master and he'd say, that's a lie. No one signed anything. Abraham Lincoln didn't do a thing. There was no news back then. There was no, well, most of the slaves didn't even know how to read. And so there was great confusion. Am I free? Am I a slave? My old master tells me I'm still a slave. My, my friends tell me that I've been free. What do you believe? Well, you and I have been made free. Your old master, the enemy, your flesh will say, no, you're not but your friends in the Lord, and the Lord himself, who's a friend who sticks closer than a brother, tells you that you're free. Not free to fulfill the lust of your flesh, but free from the law, from rules and regulations, and to be led by the Spirit. We need to stand fast in the correct freedom, the freedom from the law, not free to do whatever we want to do because of the lust of our flesh. Stand fast, therefore, in the freedom of Christ.